So you've just moved into a new place and you gotta get your printer all set up. Don't worry, cause I got you. I got that printer right there that I brought from my dad's house. I just moved into my new place. We're gonna get it all set up and walk you through the process of organizing everything in your new apartment. I'm Zach, you're watching Prince of Geeks, stick around. So right off the bat, there's two things you're gonna need to establish. You're gonna need to find a space for your prints, or for your printer, I should say. And the last thing you're gonna need, which is gonna be actually setting up the printer. So the fact of the matter is, when you're setting up a printer on a new surface, even though the surface to you is flat, the printer kind of bends and moves and creaks, I guess is the best way to say it a little bit. And your prints will be off. So whenever you move your printer, you gotta recalibrate it. So don't move it around too much. Um, but so let's go ahead and find ourselves a place where I can actually put this printer. So what you need to do, you gotta establish yourself with a nice, sturdy, see on the head of this move, a nice, sturdy, flat surface and space enough for your actual printer to sit. And now here's something very important because this printer, the bed moves back and forth and the head here only moves side to side. You wanna make sure that you have enough clearance against your wall to the back of the bed. So you go ahead and you grab the bed and you slowly push it back so you don't want to damage anything on that motherboard. And what you're looking for, you want to make sure that the cable that will be attached to the print bed isn't really going to touch the wall, but if it does, then it does it ever so slightly. This is probably the most important start part of setting up your printer. Now, this is the other table that I have, but as you can see, those legs aren't very sturdy, so unfortunately, it's not going to work out very well for me to use this table as opposed to the other one that I just showed you. So once you turn your printer on, what you gotta do is you gotta actually set up all the stuff to be printed properly. So one, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go on this printer. Now, if you have a manual printer, you'll have to do it manually by controlling the uh, Z axis and, and moving around your print head, depending on where you wanna go. This video will be strictly for those with an automated bed leveling process. So if we go ahead and we click on leveling, you'll see that what's gonna happen is the nozzle itself will heat up to a certain temperature. Right now it's just calibrating itself. What's gonna happen is the nozzle itself will heat up properly and establish itself and touch around on the print bed itself. Now, as you can see, it says that the nozzle is heating. So it's very important because when you're printing, keep in mind, you're not gonna print at a low temperature like the ambient room temperature. You're gonna be printing at the temperature heat that you need for the print. So right now it's gonna heat up the nozzle to get to the proper heating temperature before it cleans the nozzle and then before it starts doing the Z offset moving. So when it gets to the Z offset moving, I'll get the video back going. I'll let it kind of do its thing for right now, clean, do what it needs to do, and I'll catch back with you guys in a minute. So now we have the Z offset being auto adjusted. What's happening is you have a little arm right there that is shot out and this thing is gonna to touch down and get the Z offset for every part of this entire print bed. And this will establish your print. Now, this is incredibly important to do, especially, like I said, when setting up in a new environment, strictly for the fact that you want to make sure that your bed is leveled out, that the printer knows what your offsets are, so when it does the auto bed leveling later on, it'll be able to calculate for those parts. Now, I have to go get ready for an event, but just so you guys understand what happens next, is once that's done doing its calibration, all you have to do, print a bench sheet, print some kind of benchmark thing that you can test that out with, and enjoy the results of making sure that your print is now properly aligned. And if you like the video so far, a sub definitely helps. I'll catch you guys next time.